Hi, welcome. This is video three in a series of five videos. We're going to talk about the latest release of Sardi. The Sardi icons is one of my projects. You can follow on ericdubois.pe. So a lot of information about Sardi and a lot of people ask me questions. It's all in here. So uh, video number one was just showing you the icons. Video number two was how to install it on any distro because Sardi is meant to be installed on anything just as long as it's Linux. Debian based, Arch based, uh, RPM, and so on. It doesn't care, uh, it should work on anything. So let me know if there are missing icons. This video is going to be about flexibility, which is going to be video number three. The next video is going to be a modularity, and the fifth video is going to be Savvy Extra. So, flexibility today, and just to show you guys. I've been installing a few distros here, as you can see, and they're all based on Debian or Arch or Solus, Nixos, KOS, Fedora, Susan, Magay, if I say that correctly. So that's been a while since I've done that. So the last two I did were PopOS and MX17. So they, those guys get support now. That's the idea. Make an icon theme that works everywhere. It doesn't matter what GT key theme, engine or theme, or it it just has to work everywhere. The thing we're looking at now is uh, appearance. Let's have a look how it's called. Well, it depends. Um, I've I've installed already in this machine. We've switched SSD. I can only recommend that. The first two videos were on my SSD where I create the icons and here we are on the arch merge fun so that's why we have now so many of them so in video number five we'll see that there are lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of i think over 100 icon themes so we can experiment with these scripts and that's the flexibility of these scripts okay all right so the video well maybe i'll, I'll show you as well how to get rid of all that that's included in this video so for educational reasons i don't need all the others uh, that are coming in, in in video five so i'm gonna delete those again and i have this script in uh, ericdubois.be not uh, no 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 in github.com and then Eric Dubois, and then arch merge nemesis awr delete all icons sardi extra so that only works, of course, on any Arch-based uh, system and nowhere else. But let me do that to make it uh, easier. And you'll see that if I check it now, it will be less confusing for us. So these are the normal standards, standard Sardi, so 20 of them from here, Bill, here, R, there. That's the, the standard ones, you know. And in the meantime, we've changed it. We have now another theme. So, um, flexibility. That's what it's about. Okay, let's go ahead. First off, depending what you did in video number two, and video number two was installation, where did you install your icons? Okay, so if, they are no, if there are no icons in your home folder, here it says home Eric dot icons don't forget the dot it's in hidden folder going to get my wallpaper back i like that one now fixed so if it's if it's nothing in here and it depends how you install it because the guys from arch uh, the arch community those will install it via packer and via packer it ends up in this folder which is called user share icons so in here you won't see anything here there are no sardis in here but normally there are so what you do you take an example here there is hello of halo here what you do is Control c and move it down here to Control v okay so you need to go to your own home directory you can't run scripts well you can run script but i don't want you to run scripts i want you to run the scripts in your home directory there that's a correct place. That's the place to experiment. Okay. So the dot icons folder is becoming more important. So that's all you do. Copy paste these things in there and then 
go ahead. So if you were an Arch Linux, then you copy pasted everything over. If you were not an Arch Linux, they were there already. I told you that in the video to put it in the dot icons. All right, Whew. done. So let's go from top to bottom, what you can change and how to change it and how it will show, okay? And let me <laughs> maybe from time to time, give me the li liberty to make new things. Hey, it would be nice to have even more items. So, sturdy color. Whoa, what's this? We have here a folder inside places. The only thing that we provide in here are just folders, places, it's called. That's it, that's it. I told you in video number one that we have engines. I maybe should be uh, best to repeat it if you if this is the first video you see. Sardi is engine number one, meaning don't delete it. Engine number two, Sardi flat, Sardi flexible, Sardi ghost flexible, Sardi mono, and Sardi orglora. Those guys are the engines of your locomotive. And everything is put behind it. So this is a wagon. The wagon says here, let's, let's see what, how it applies, what I'm saying. It says here, inherits from Sardi. That's what it says. That means, look at what it, it has. It has nothing. It has just places. That's it. So what we say is all the rest, meaning all these beautiful icons, get them from somewhere else, get them from Sardi. All these apps are coming from there. That's what inherence does. And that's what I keep repeating to people online. Please change your inherit and your theme will work. Your icon theme will work. Just put in more lines, put in papyrus, put in, put in paper, but install it, of course. And then you get these icons from there. But they should be more or less a match, of course. So Sardi Arc is borrowing from there. Sardi Colora is just places. Just borrowing, borrowing from Sardi. But there is a lot of .sh stuff in here. What's that? A .sh is a shell. So a script you can run. The logo is quite clear. It's black and has this, this dollar sign. Yep, that's a script. So double click. Just double click something. It seems I've set mine with Atom, which is OK if you have installed it. So Packer Atom, Pseudo Pacman, or Google it. Sublime Text is also good. Uh, so right mouse click and open with Sublime Text, Genie. There are lots of editors. You choose your editor, but make sure that your editor shows coloring like this. That you quickly see line 39 is the one active, 44 is the one active, that you don't need to scan through all these hashtag out. This is just comments. That's what you don't need those. So we have here scripts we can run. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine scripts we can run. And we get a different Sardi Colora. All right. Okay. Let's have it have a trial. The first one, Aqua Marine. How do you do this? Control C, Control V. Okay. Change the name. We are, our intent is to try Aquamarine, rename, correct? Aquamarine, check if the spelling is correct and it is correct, okay? Then maybe do that first, index team, otherwise we'll forget. Aquamarine, that's it. Why? Because some of our desktops, uh, depending on which one you are, it reads this in the selection and not a folder, it's in. So do both and everything will be fine on Budgie, on Gnome, everywhere. So a small effort. Next one is to run this thing. Now, depending on your desktop again, you can double click it and run it. But uh, I think best thing would be go to the terminal here and just run it this way. Let me check, check quickly. Okay, everything has been schmutz. So I'm checking if everything is green. So everything is an X. 
x means execute. I just wanted to check. So we need big S, Sardicolora, Aquamarine, and how you time how many seconds it takes. Done. We have a new team. We go check it. If we like it, appearance, icons, and this is the one we just created. Let's get rid of everything and let's go back to the file system. So that's the one we did. Of course, we need another wallpaper to have uh, a match. So you go to a variety and say, come on, give me something green, my friend. Green, green, green. How about this? That's greenish. Also green. Let's go over it. It might be nice as well. Windows 7. Why not? Hey. <laughs> Here is something green, all right. Ah. You get the drifts. Then you make a nice conky. Oh, I like this one. So I go to desktopper.co. Oh, voila. It's on my system. Done. There it is. It's on my system. So this is how we uh, we need to work. This is how a script is created. It's not difficult. It's a procedure you should follow. And that's it. So I'm going to repeat the procedure, but not with the same, of course. Let's do it with Sardic Flat Colora. So I'm going to go over all the Colora. So if you want to skip ahead, OK. So I'm going to go inside here with Open Terminal. Checking that the scripts are okay, fine. Eric, you checked it. Why do we check it again? So we have here Charisma, Cosmic, Deep Sky, Edge, Water, Majestic, all kind of colors. And the colors are coming actually from this program. You should know this program, Chipic. You see, this is what we called Arc Theme Punch. And that's why we call it Punch, because it's reddish. And it's the color, color coming from Chipic. So these things are often uh, coming from uh, JPEG, but not always. We do have some fantasy from time to time. All right, let's go ahead. So let's make, I don't know, I'm going to make something that I don't know anymore what color it is. Still a tree, I think it's yellow. Edge water is, I think, nice. So edge water. So you choose one. Again, Control C, Control V. Edge water. Rename, double click, index team, edge water, save, close, right mouse click, open terminal, check what's in there. We have Sardi and then edge water, run, done, select it. You can do it very fast if you're a bit that one. Close, close. As a matter of fact, we can keep the green a little bit. <laughs> Edge water seems to be a greenish kind of look, a light green. Okay, so fine. We have now this icon theme. Oh, here it is. So there's a new one. Evo Pop is created. Let's have a look. It has PNGs. So PNG, if you see that, you say, oh, I can't do anything with it. You can't script it. You can't change PNG, PNG, and that's why I deliver you guys SVGs. I could reserve SVGs just for me, but no, I want you to have the SVGs so you can change them. Uh, let's see if I didn't skip one. No, so this one, that one, that one. Okay. Sadly flexible. So that's the next one. Again, all these scripts. These things are the same. I'll do it, do one later. Um, but these are pretty fine colors, and this is a color you should change yourself. So this is pretty fine. The Faba icon theme, maybe you've heard of it. It's installed uh, on Arch Merge, and um, well, then you have also icons that match with it. Let's take the Sadly Flexible Takao as an example. I've made also a theming exercise. I Leaf, this is still open. No, Google Chrome is closed. On Eric the Waddle PE, there is a Tron theming exercise I did, and that's where it's coming from. So, Sadi Flexible Takao. Remember the word Takao. So, Control C, Control V. 
um, we rename this thing. You see, you, I don't give any spaces. I don't do that. So uh, minus uh, dash, and then index team the cow save. Right mouse click, open in terminal. See what's in there. Okay, sorry, flexible. What else? T. What else? From Tori Takao. Takao. Run. One, two, three, four, five. This is a lot of icons. But hey, it's done. Hey, let's see how does it look. Icons. So, Sardi Flexible, that's this one. So we started from that one. So this is Sardi Flexible. And this is what we created now. Alright. All we need now is a fitting wallpaper. And that's it. You can go up wallpaper selector, maybe something like this. Why not? It's already okay. Close. And off we go. We have again a new system, a new color. Uh, it's not that bad as a look. It's up to you, of course, to decide if you want to be using all these scripts. I thought I saw something that was not changed. So if something is not okay, just report, but hey, everything looks fine. So we've created a slightly flexible Takao, which is this one. Mm -hmm. The next one, Sardi Ghost Flexible. The Sardi Ghost Flexible, maybe we should work on that one. So we see all the time what that is. Sardi Ghost Flexible. So this is Sardi Ghost Flexible. Control C, Control V. That's this one. Well, before editing, let's check what shall we take. Baltic, coral, golden, grey, viking, hot pink, because of a, home, an, um, a wallpaper that was all pink. That's also a theming exercise, I believe, on Air 2.0 E to make your whole desktop, including conkeys and icons and theme, arc theme, it is arc theme Colora, that's the one we use to change that. Um, I think I'm gonna take Baltic. Don't know what it is. Baltic. Try it out. Let's see. So, Baltic, rename. Um, sorry. Okay, that's it. And then index team cache new, index team. For those thinking, oh my god, what work is this? Well, that's because we've done all this work already and we've put it on the GitHub. So these are the Sardi Extra icons. What I call Sardi Extra is all these scripts, we ran it and we put it on GitHub so you don't have to run it. So it's taken care of already. But hey, um, you can do it like this as well and have fun changing the scripts. That's, of course, uh, essential. Making other colors, new icon themes I have not created. So let's see what we have. Sardi goes flexible. We went for Baltic, I thought. So one, two, three, four, lots of icons. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whoa, lots of time. So uh, how many icons is he changing? It's done. Only 7,428. You can do that manually very much faster. Huh? Right. So, Sardi goes flexible Baltic. How does it look? I can Sardi goes flexible Baltic. Whoa, it's the one that's all black. I like it, but it, this is not good, of course. We have a theme that is black, which makes everything black. So we should change to, hmm, let's see. Black, 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 of all kinds of R Colora themes, black and Casablanca. Is that going together? I don't know, let's try it. So, quitting and starting again, not that one, that one. Now it looks like this. This is still black. So I think the other one is, oh, the other one is going to be brighter. Uh, is it this one? Let's kill it again. Hey. Sooner. 
now I guess we have to live with it. So it's uh, the black side here will stay the same. Maybe we should log off and then it becomes white because I believe it was possible to have that white. Uh, anyway, um, this is Baltic. So this is what you have decided to have. And this is how it looks here. This is a black and a white background. So that looks nice. Let me check if everything is now changed. So this is also for me a check. If there are icons that are not behaving as they should. And everything is black. If there is one white in there, then you didn't know we have to change. So great, great, that's done. Close. Maybe another wallpaper, but you know now how to change all wallpapers. So that's not a biggie anymore. All right, so we have now the Sadi Coast Flexible Bolt. That's the one we made. Sadi Mono, Sadi Mono Arched. Sadi Mono was an engine. This is one created for Arch Labs back in the days. And it's again, it's a, a wagon. It's, it's following the Sadi Monos. And this one is a color. This one we can change. We find scripts in here. And we have Botticelli. Let's do this for Nick. He likes it. So Sardi Mono Colora Botticelli, that's the crypto choice we have, meaning we go up, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, Botticelli it is. Two T's, two L's, and that's it. No, that's not it. Index team, be consistent, Eric. Botticelli. With some accent, you need to say it, otherwise it's not good. Right mouse click, open in terminal. As you can see, all the icons are just fine. They're here. It's just great. And then, what icon, what should we run? So, sadly something, sadly, sadly, with a B. There are two with a B, so with an O. And then, one, two, oh, it's done already. Let's have a look. Sardi, mono. Colora Botticelli. So there's a long name as a reason. So you know where it's coming from. It's coming from the Sardi Monocolora Botticelli. So you know it's a reference to the base you took it from. All right. This is a little white theme. And probably many of you, if you're following me, you know I don't like the white thing. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, I've got another idea. Um, we have an appearance here, we have uh, pa, 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 pa. paper would be nice with it, right? Paper would be nice. What else would be nice? We have um, Botticelli itself, yes, we do have a Botticelli, which is more or less the paper, but it's, it's like it is, I mean, there are 60 million colors, there are always slight variances in color. All we need is now a beautiful image. I'm going to look this time for a beautiful image to have this feeling of, yes, you know, finished, done. This is it. Ooh, no, that's not it. How about that one? Hmm. Let's have a look. So combination of a wallpaper and theme and an icon theme makes it just awesome. I think I would like this. So screenshot, print screen. Okay, save, save. All right, next up is back into the icons on the correct folder here. So we did now the, this one, Sardi Colora Botticelli. This one is coming from the next mint, meaning it's PNG, so we can't do anything about it. This one is the standard Numix. Again, Sardi Mono, so wagons, wagons, and they follow this one. And if it's not in here, it will follow this one. Let me show you that. I think that's quite important to show you it again. Inherits, first go to the Sardi Mono, don't find an icon there, go to Sardi, don't find an icon there, go to Numix Circle, don't find an icon there. That's how it works, okay? It's very important and repeating should be done here. 
So, Sadi mononymics color. So, what is this? This is the Sadi things changed already. So, there are elements in there. There's this icon in here, there's this thing, that thing, that thing. So, different elements in there. And, um, well, we should change them. So, I went into four, like this one. So, we have here, well, many is it? 11 items, 11 scripts to change so 11 sadly mono numix colora and so that's how we get to 100 if you run and keep running these color variations you get lots of icons icons that match your wallpaper that match your icon that maybe even match your mood of the day okay frolly hibiscus mist orangina orchid fall matology vampire i like vampire let's go for vampire the name alone is great so Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Vampire. Then go inside. Follow the logic. The logic must be in there. In the rain. Safe. Of course, it's not vampire. It didn't run anything. So run it. So Sardi Monocolora. And then we should have a vampire. But two Vs, that's why it will kick off. One, two, not even one second. It's there. Let's have a look. Appearance, icons, Sardi, mononumix, color of empire. That was the idea. Let's make this, uh, change this theme to darker again. If it's vampire, I think I would take crimson dark, or maybe hibiscus dark, or mandy dark, anything red, you know. Bunch dark is the latest we create. Let's take that one. So killing this thing, opening it again will make it darker. You see? Let's trash. This is the look we have now. We've created this in one second, even. Huh? And we should change something, but I think this wallpaper is good enough for this one. Alright. Okay, let's make a print screen again for my Eric Dubois articles later on. That's done. Uh, let's get back to icons. We did this one and we made it this one. And there's another one. There's papyrus folders. Let's get first inside and save Casablanca. Oh yeah, I like the Casablanca. I'm a fan of Casablanca. Been using it for a long time. So Control C, Control V. But it's it, I mean icons they they, they change. Eh? Your preferences change by day, by week, by month. You need to change. So, Casablanca. Oops. Casablanca. All right. Inside index team. Casablanca. Again, Eric. Save. Run the scripts. And then. What is it again? With an S and then what else? With a C and what else? Another A and then it's there. Done. It's that fast. And then you go to appearance, you go to cast icons. By the way, uh, these, these scripts will work anywhere, it's just not for uh, arch uh, distros or, or this uh, hardware. No, it's not there, it's, it works everywhere. So this is what I was using for a while, and now I'm not using it anymore. <laughs> so it's up to you to choose, of course. Again, the wallpaper can be changed because there's nothing yellow in the wallpaper. So you know how to do that. Okay, next up. So that's this one. We have lots more. Vertex. So again, my appreciation is to get uh, to Horse 3180 for this beautiful um, icons for the places, but um, there's another one, it's Arc, and that's also beautiful. But um, changing those is, is not done here. Okay, we can change, however, the Sati Orb Colora. Sati Orb Colora is a um, possibility. So, Bitter Lemon, I guess it's yellow. Black Rock, I suppose it's black. That's blue. Pellor Rolls, I don't know anymore. So, let's take Pellor Rolls thing. So, we can here have a new color. So, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. I'm gonna type it wrong. 
Pelurus, I think it was. So let's quickly have a look. Ah, time to draw. Pelurus. Again, these uh, names come from JPEG. So this is definitely one I wouldn't invent. Wouldn't even know what it is. But hey, you follow a program. It's not an everyday word. Hey, I'm feeling so Pelorus. And now we start running. There are two Polos, Eric, no capitals. Well, one, two, but done. Set fast. Appearance, icons, go down, down, down. Pelorus is looking like this. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess my theme is okay, my wallpaper is okay, I mean. So, nice, nice. So anything you want is in there, and I think that's enough, and I think we have done them all, by the way, to show you guys that this is what I mean, flexibility. You can have these scripts in there, and you can run it. I'll make another separate tutorial, so actually a sixth one <laughs> was have been saying there will be five but i'll make a separate one for doing it manually now we're running scripts we can you can make new scripts let's let's split that all right a sixth one all right have fun running the scripts